Hey guys, welcome to Tesla is Open. Visit our website, themarketisopen.com. Today we're going to be talking about a new product that Tesla just announced a few hours ago, the Mega Pack. But first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate your support in helping us grow our channel. You can also show your support on Patreon by following us at patreon.com slash themarketisopen. And check out the description below for our Elon Musk and investor t-shirts. Okay, so let's talk about the Mega Pack. This is a, a new innovative product that's a utility scale product for massive energy storage. The goal, according to Tesla, is to transform the way the grid is going to be powered. So as you know, Tesla currently has the power wall for residential applications, and it also has the power pack for commercial applications. And now it's introducing the mega pack for larger scale commercial applications. So they say that every mega pack arrives pre-assembled and pre-tested in one enclosure from our Gigafactory. So that's pretty huge. The, the power pack comes ready to go. You just have to basically plug it in. Uh, it includes battery modules, bi-directional inverters, thermal management system, and an AC main breaker and controls. No assemblies required. All you need to do is connect the Megapack's AC output to your site's wiring. So I think that's going to be pretty incredible. Basically a plug-and-play system for energy storage. So this is how it looks on the inside. It has many modular components. Uh, I guess it's kind of like the power pack stacked together, so it's easy for Tesla to package this thing together. However, it's 60% more dense than, than a power pack's density. So I think this is the ultimate bundle pack. Like, why would they sell a single power pack at a time, for example, when they can sell eight of them or a bunch of them stuck together to, to achieve 60% um, more dense capacity for energy? And they're going to be selling a lot of these to larger utilities. Uh, Tesla also says it will likely take about, about three months to deploy something like this. Uh, which is pretty insane just think about how many years it takes to build other types of power plants around the world for example a nuclear power plant could take five years or more in order to build so i think tesla is going to be competing against uh, the utilities right now especially the fossil fuel ones like natural gas and even coal uh, and instead of fighting back though i think that these utilities will actually become tesla customers so Tesla also gives a comparison between other competing products. I'm not actually sure whose product that is. I wonder if it's that if that's Tesla's power pack solution. But anyway, this one is it's 40% smaller than competing products and less space means less land for utilities. So that saves them a whole bunch of money. They don't need to take up as much space. Uh, land is normally quite expensive and you need to pay uh, property taxes and land taxes. Uh, they need to maintain a larger area. It, it takes longer to walk across one side to the other. So smaller is clearly better, and Tesla is clearly focusing on that uh, by innovating and creating a denser energy product. This is an example of how one of Tesla's other projects looks looks like, and it's a, a huge uh, array of solar panels and a small area. Looks like it uses the power pack solution, and going forward, it'll be using the mega pack solution, which will be uh, more dense and probably take up a lot less space than this uh, power pack solution here. So I think there's a whole bunch of different innovations and in, in features of this of this new product. They say that Megapack requires 40% less space and 10 times fewer, fewer parts than the current systems on the market. So as a result, they have a higher density and modular system that can be installed 10 times faster than current systems. So that's that's pretty insane. Uh, this thing can, can power three megawatt hours of max energy capacity. It also is capable of doing a uh, gigawatt hour and higher scale projects. And overall, it greatly reduces the complexity of battery storage systems uh, for large scale utilities. And as I've said before, it's 60% more dense than a power pack. Now, the Mega Pack also connects to Tesla's own software uh, management system. They have something called Power Hub, which you can use to manage uh, the power plant. And they also have a, a, a software product called AutoBidder, which they use for energy trading, which is something that these big utilities do uh, very often. So there's many applications of this mega pack. Uh, the first one is something called renewable smoothing. Uh, I think that, I mean, that's what Tesla calls it. I think most people are familiar with this, but basically uh, the mega pack is just a big battery pack. And since solar panels, uh, of course, only work during the day when the sun is out, the biggest problem is capturing that energy and, and using it later. So the mega pack is a, a big storage system and it stores it and releases it, releases the energy as it's needed throughout the day and also at night as well. Uh, they also mention investment deferral. So Tesla says that they can postpone uh, costly infrastructure upgrades by supplying power at a distributed location to defer the need to upgrade this aging infrastructure. 
Also, this system can inject and absorb power into the grid. It can also help the grid during peak capacity to reduce the demand on the infrastructure and on distribution. Uh, Tesla even gives an example of one of its upcoming projects in California to replace something called a like a natural gas peaker plant, which costs millions of dollars in order to help the grid uh, during peak hours to supply enough energy when the grid is, is being maxed out. I also think this concept of microgrids is pretty cool. I mean, Tesla's already doing this with the current power pack, but this will simply accelerate uh, that initiative. So they can build a local grid using the mega pack. And I think that's exactly what we've seen in Tesla's previous projects. So now it's just going to be simpler for them to build it uh, in a small local area. You don't need long distance power lines if the energy generation is coming from a close by power plant, such as the one that the mega pack is going to be connected to. The nice thing about Tesla's battery products is that they're they're quite safe and they also have the perception of safety, unlike uh, other types of power plants, such as nuclear power plants. I mean, solar panels are definitely a lot safer than that. Uh, there's also a few more applications, but I thought that these were important. Uh, these systems also uh, can behave as emergency backups, uh, but I guess this one is could be so big that it's not really a backup as much as it is its own power plant when it's connected to solar panels or even uh, wind as a renewable energy source. Uh, they also have second by second visibility of the behavior of the grid. Tesla also says they'll work closely with utilities to build custom grid or custom solutions for these companies uh, because of course these could be pretty large projects and they could vary uh, between companies and obviously it's worth it for them to spend time with these customers who are paying a lot of money for this type of product. I just wanted to have a quick look at Tesla's energy deployments, which, which they showed us last week when they announced their Q2 results. Uh, maybe this will help this new product, the Megapack, will help their commercial solar business, uh, since the residential and even commercial haven't been doing too well uh, relative to other years. You can see that solar has been down lately. However, Tesla did grow its storage this quarter, the, the energy storage business, by 81% over the last quarter and 104% over the previous year's quarter. So their goal for this year is two gigawatt hours, and they're gonna need a huge boost to hit that. Elon has also said multiple times that their internal goal is three gigawatt hours. So I'm assuming this product will help them achieve that by the end of the year, or at least try to get as close as they can to that number. Tesla is also thinking quite long-term. Uh, Kathy Wood from ARK Invest noted that Tesla is planning to build their uh, two terawatt uh, hour battery capacity. Uh, she figured that that would power about 26 million vehicles However, uh, by 2023. However, Elon said that probably about a quarter or a half of that capacity would go to stationary storage. Uh, and I think that was sort of a prelude to this announcement that came this week for the Megapack. So clearly Tesla believes that there's going to be a lot of demand for this type of product from the utilities. And along those same lines, I think this is the ultimate setup for a utility. There's a lot of utilities that are stuck with fossil fuel plants. Some are using uh, coal and natural gas and even nuclear plants. Uh, and I think Elon once said that if you take the area that a nuclear power plant takes up, uh, like the amount of land you would need, and instead use solar panels, you could produce the same amount of power on that, on that real estate. And Elon's also a fan of putting solar arrays in the desert where there's nothing there anyways to power the United, the United States. So I think that was about 200 square miles could power the whole country, he was saying. But anyways, I think that a utility that's stuck using fossil fuels and coal, for example, that's on the decline. I mean, even a natural gas plant, as we just talked about, could cost millions of dollars uh, to maintain during peak hours, for example. However, I think uh, a utility like that can go out and buy a bunch of these power packs and create a small distributed power plant uh, for their company. And not only that, but they can use it as sort of a, a marketing advantage in order to market themselves as a, a green energy utility ahead of their competitors. So I think that's pretty important. I think uh, a lot of utilities will be trying to buy uh, the mega packs in order to beat out their own competitors. And so because this product is pre-assembled and they basically just need to plug it in, I think uh, this could actually save a lot of utilities that are uh, struggling, especially those coal utilities, which have had to um, have had much str more stringent uh, rules against them. But overall, I think the mega pack is definitely in line with Elon Musk's uh, long term vision for the company and making the world sustainable and using renewables. And I'll throw in this last tweet as well. It looks like the solar roof can actually be on track for the end of the year, uh, possibly on Elon time. Uh, but still, I've said it a couple times before that each solar roof will be sort of equivalent to selling a vehicle in terms of how much money it generates for the company. So a thousand 
uh, solar roofs per week, as, as Elon is saying here in this tweet, is like Tesla producing an extra thousand cars per week. So I think you'll finally see that the energy division will start to actually move the needle for this company. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button. Also check the description below for our Patreon link and our t-shirts. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate your support in helping us grow our channel. Thanks again for watching.